Okay, we are done with this. Now let's disassemble the controller and see how it's built. We have five Phillips screws. Okay, this is the back and this is the circuit board. I think we need to remove these first. the cable and here we go and we have a small tiny SMD chip and that's all now let's put it aside and come back to it later because we need to compare it with the original gamepad from the 90s Okay, we see similar construction with some tiny differences. Let's remove these. And here we go. So the chip and the layout is different and the older controller has more details and everything is labeled. All the buttons also it says Nintendo company. While the, the new one has nothing. Probably it's not made by Nintendo. It just says made in China. Okay, so another difference is uh, let's put this here. Here, as you can see, this one, the older one, has a metal rod, while the mini classic, it's all plastic. And here is a closer look. This is the mini classic, and this is the original. Everything is labeled, all the buttons, and this is the rubber membrane for the original one. Okay, so this is the bottom of the case of the SNES mini controller and as you can see here we have these Mario pipes support for the PCB and the original one has only one in the middle but two big circles on the sides. And this is the front of the case, this is the classic mini and this is the original all the buttons are labeled I wonder why they didn't use the same mold did they lose it and they had to create another one from scratch and here we have as what I believe a date code and this is the d-pad the rubber membrane of the shoulder button in the classic mini is a square in shape while the original is circular this is the pcb of the classic mini controller The cable is hardwired 
and the original one has a plug so you can unplug it it's not easy so we're not gonna do that now and just for fun let's compare these with this uh, generic one okay so the build quality there is no comparison it's very cheap empty in the middle and these support that's supposed to hold the PCB they need support themselves the wires are soldered straight to the PCB and it's a blob of course and these are plastic just like the classic mini controller only this one is cheaper and very low quality and finally the cable of the original controller is a little bit longer than the classic mini And that's all for this video, thank you for watching.